Alright guys, I'm going to show you guys a quick video of me rebuilding the bed for the van. Now, admittedly, I didn't take a lot of time uh, putting this video together, mainly because when I was building the bed last week at the shop, it was still really hot, and Megan and I were just really wanting to get back up into the mountains where we are now. So, anyhow, if you guys are interested in seeing uh, what I did and uh, learning a little bit of why I did it, then uh, check out this video. If you're not interested, well, then just... Uh, Hang out for the next adventure video that will come along shortly. If you saw my van walk around I did a month or two back, I showed the original bed. It's made into three sections and the idea was is that it would have storage and also articulate from a bed to a couch or into a lounge. I've realized over the past year I just don't use it that way and I only use it in couch or bed mode. And having to slide the entire bed with the contents of the bed inside it is heavy and cumbersome. So I've come up with a new plan in order to make this a lot smoother. So to get started, we're going to take a look at a sketch that I made in Fusion 360. Now whenever I'm making something for the van, if I can, I like to sketch it out first. This just helps me kind of vet things out and make sure that things are going to work the way that I want them to. So the way the bed's going to work is it's going to have two drawers that come out the front. When those drawers are fully extended, that's going to make the full-size bed. It will also give me storage to put some gear in. In the back, I'm not going to have drawers because mainly the bed is offset a little bit and the van body itself would block the drawers from coming out on the left side. So we're just going to have a lid that's going to open. Now, there will be a board down the back side here. I just didn't put it in the drawing. The bed will be made into two sections, mainly because of the fact that it'll make it easier for me to get the bed into the van, and then I'll assemble the two sections in the van. The top of the bed is going to have slats. That just allows for when there's condensation or I sweat, that the bed has airflow, that it can dry that out so I don't get mold or mildew. All right, we're going to make the front drawer section first. We're going to be using 1x6 pine for this, and I'm going to be cutting the two sides and the center divider. I'm going to be using 600 pound drawer slides in order to make sure that the bed is sturdy enough to hold my weight when it's got gear in it and I'm sitting on it. I put all three boards together and I'm going to drill the holes for the drawer slide so that way all the holes match exactly. For securing the slides that would be on the side of the bed, I decided to use T-nuts and then I would bolt through the slides into the T-nuts. I used blue Loctite and some stainless steel hex bolts that I had left over from my rack build to secure the slides to the boards. I did a really poor job of showing you guys what I'm doing here, but I'm using a step bit to widen out the mounting holes on one of the slides. I intend to use some rib nuts kind of like you would use a sex bolt in order to mount the two center slides to the center board. All right, and with the slides now mounted, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the front half. Now, like I said, I'm gonna be using slats across the top so basically i'm just screwing the slats onto the sideboards now and the center board the slats themselves i actually made out of some half inch plywood that i cut down into the sizes that i wanted for the bottom of the front half i just used two six inch slats i was thinking about using a full sheet here but i wanted to save weight where i could and i figured that the two six inch slats would be enough Last but not least, I used two 1x6 boards to make end caps for the front section. With the front section done, I now started cutting the boards for the drawers. I'm using half inch plywood and I'm using a Craig jig to make straight cuts, not sponsored. Now I'm using a chop saw to cut the boards down to the proper lengths.
I'm gonna assemble the drawers using Craig screws. So I'm using the Craig jig to make the proper pocket holes. Again, not sponsored. So another Craig tool that I got to help me with the assembly of pocket holes is the corner clamp. It really does help a lot in keeping the boards aligned while you're screwing in the pocket hole screws. I did a quick fitment check before making the bottoms of the drawers. So with the drawer complete, I went ahead and mounted them to the slides. Now I'm sure there is a much better way of doing this, but I just kind of eyeballed it and started with the front screws and then added the rear screws and then added any screws I felt I needed in between. For that finishing touch on the drawers, I used some one by eight pine and then I routered the outside edge and made faces for the drawers. I then stained the faces with some medium walnut. Now for those people that constantly ask me if I still have the old Ford truck, I do still have it. I keep it around. It's useful for running errands, going to the dump, and going to the lumber store. So while we're waiting for the stain to dry on the drawer faces, we're going to go ahead and get started on the rear section of the bed. So again, I'm cutting some 1x6 pine for the sides and center divider. Since the back section is going to have a lid instead of drawers, I'm going to use pocket hole screws to assemble the outside of the box. So I had a little situation here with one of my boards being extremely warped. I should have checked this a little bit better when I was picking out my lumber. But I went ahead and decided to assemble the rest of the box and then I used some clamps and another board to hold everything together to kind of bring it all back into shape. Here I'm starting to cut the slats for the top and the full piece that would make up the bottom of the drawer. Here I'm gluing and screwing the bottom piece of the back half. There is going to be a back section here where I'm going to put a slightly thicker board. This lifts the back of the bed just slightly making me a little bit head high when I park which I prefer. And then a helicopter swooped into by our camp and grabbed some water for a nearby forest fire. Oh, whoop, whoop, sorry. Sorry, this is footage for another video. Let's get back to the uh, bed making here. So at this point, I'm starting to assemble the lid of the bed. Now the lid will also have slats so that way there will be ventilation. So I'm gonna use two short boards on the sides in order to hold the slats together and still have it be a lid that can open and close. On the back of the bed, there will be a six inch wide board that I will fix a piano hinge to and that will allow the lid to open and close. Now to take out the old bed. So like I said, the old bed was set up to articulate in three different locations. So I basically can take it out in three sections. So with the stain dry, I can now assemble the drawer faces. Now for the fun part, putting the new bed into the van. So as a finishing step, I made a piece that would cover the pocket holes on the back of the bed. I stained it with the medium walnut, just like I did the front drawers, and then screwed it onto the back of the bed. So as mentioned in the beginning of the video, to make the bed, I pulled the drawers out. Now one thing I did not show in the assembly of the bed is I did cut a half inch piece of plywood that slides out from underneath the mattress to cover the drawer's contents when the bed is in bed mode. The 600 pound drawer slides are plenty to support my weight and the bed and it feels very secure. To remake the bed, I just push the mattress forward, then slide the piece of plywood back under the mattress, and then I can shut the drawers. 
All right, folks, that's just a down and dirty rundown on how I built this new bed platform. If you guys haven't seen the complete walk around of the van, I have a couple videos on that, and you can check those out in the video screens that are popping up somewhere uh, right now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those down below. I'm getting ready to head off on another adventure, so we'll see you guys again outside.